It's that time of year again. Time to be creepy, dress up, and stuff our faces with as much candy as we can handle. Carving pumpkins, seeing ghosts, scaring people, haunted houses, trick-or-treating, and party planning are all part of the Halloween celebration. It's also a fantastic season for 3D printing, which is a fantastic method for creating props, costumes, pumpkins, and much more. Now, we've compiled a list of the most intriguing and eerie 3D printing decorations and accessories in this episode of The First Layer. Stick around. Hey, welcome to The First Layer. My name's Richard, and like I said at the top, this is that time of year again where we kind of take a look at some of the best in Halloween 3D printing. I've got a complete list here. I want to thank the folks from all3dp.com. For the list that they have compiled this year you know that we've used their lists in the past and uh, we're going to do it again this year because they've got a fantastic lineup i also want to remind you that uh, we are going to be picking our second winner on october 31st for our giveaway of a mystery box which contains some pretty cool stuff and being october there might be even Something, some unexpected surprises in there. So how do you get involved in that? Well, it's real simple. All you got to do is leave a like on this video, comment down below, and uh, be a member or be a subscriber to the channel. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. Jack-o'-lanterns have been around for a long time. You carve scary faces into pumpkins, place a light inside, and watch them glow in the dark. Now. You don't need a pumpkin or any carving skills to make these patterns. All you need is a 3D printer and some orange filament and some Halloween spirit. Kicking things off is this iconic jack-o'-lantern design. Uh, and it was chosen since it's a popular model with hundreds of makes. Now the pumpkin and the lid are the two main elements of the design. The pumpkin's top uh, opening is 44 millim or 24 millimeters, pardon me, allowing you to put an LED light or an electronic candle inside of it. Now, it's advised that you print this with a 0.2 millimeter layer height and 10% uh, infill for best results. Now, this was uh, done by Makey's, and as you can see here, there is the pumpkin, and uh, there's a couple of other photos there. It seems pretty easy, two pieces to print. And uh, this can be found on Thingiverse. Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas is the epitome of Halloween. Uh, the a base and a stem, as well as many faces that snap to the base, make up this jack-o'-lantern's design. The creator supplied 12 different face models and several more, like Oogie Boogie and Jack Skellington, uh, were created by the community and distributed as remixes. Uh, you can change the face every day for a different theme with just one base. The lantern glows better with a light inside, of course, as many jack-o'-lanterns do. Hence, the design uh, designer recommends printing the model with only two shells. This also can be found on Thingiverse. We are going to leave all of the links to everything that you see here in today's episode down below. So go and check them out. A lot of them are free. This design also looks like it belongs in A Nightmare Before Christmas. It can be printed in one or two pieces. Uh, supports are required to print the eyes and teeth, but not anything else, including the stem. It can also be used to house an electronic candle or LED light. Uh, you know what they say, you can never have too many pumpkins on Halloween. This one can be found over on Cults and is by BirdBot. What an amazing looking little uh, scary um, thing. Let's see if we can pull up a bigger picture of it. There we go. This is so cool. Um, and then there's other pictures as well. I encourage you to go and check them out as well. Whether you're talking about the book or the movies, the Cheshire Cat is easily the most iconic and identifiable character from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Now, when people see this pumpkin variant shining in the dark, they are sure to be scared. Now, in terms of printing, uh, 0.3 millimeter layer height is advised, as well as a 15% infill. You'll also require the use of supports. This is available on Thingiverse from Polyforge. Sweets, inventive meal ideas, and trick-or-treating are by far some of the best elements 
of Halloween. Now, all you need is a good costume and a little bravery, and you're ready to go door-to-door -door asking strangers for candy. Here are some extras to make trick-or-treating more efficient, enjoyable, and unique. The texture of this model is based on a scan of a genuine pumpkin. Now, which is why it seems so lifelike. You can attach the pumpkin-shaped scoop to a selfie stick, a broomstick, or anything else that you have on hand by adding a handle to one side. The model's design will make trick-or-treating safer as you'll be able to keep a safe distance from other people while making uh, the experience more pleasant for everyone. This is by Toby C. Wood and can be found on Thingiverse. Are you planning on what you'll bring to this year's Halloween parties? These cookie cutters will add some flair to your munchies. Now, there are four different forms to choose from, three ghosts and one pumpkin. The models are printed in PETG, a food safe material by the creator. Uh, while the finished cookies will look nice, I can't guarantee that they'll taste delicious. So make sure that you use a good recipe. This is by Team Olivia and can be found on Thingiverse. Don't want to spend the entire evening handing out candy? How about some scary movies? You have the answer with this dispenser. Um, the hollowed out cylinder, the stem with a hole on one side is used in this innovative design. Fill the pumpkin to the top, rotate the stem, open the pumpkin's mouth and the candy will spill out. I love candy on Halloween and this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen. Now this, uh, I just want to show you the inside and how this thing works as you turn that stem you can see that the candy's all right there and it'll just come pouring out of the mouth. I love stuff like this. This is by Muzz64 and it can be found also on Thingiverse. One of the most exciting aspects of Halloween is decorating your home. Now, a regular house can be transformed into a scary mansion or a crazy scientist's lab. However, some items such as coasters, planters, and lights must be utilitarian in addition to being decorative. Now, you can preserve the functionality while making your house look like something out of Halloween Town, thanks to 3D printing. To make these coasters look like they were carved out of wood, the original inventor used wood PLA, but you may not, uh, three, two, one. To make these coasters look like they were carved out of wood, the original inventor used wood PLA, but you may use whatever filament you wish. Now. There are four designs to choose from, each carved into the pumpkin-shaped coaster. The, to support the weight of the glass without bending, uh, a 65% infill is recommended. Print as many as you need for all of your glasses and social spaces. Now, this was created by Stephen Quinn. We've got another Stephen Quinn coming up a little bit later on, and this can be found over on the Prusa Printer site. It is also a free download. Even on Halloween, you don't have to be terrified of the dark. Uh, even when everything else is dark, you can keep the lights on with this charming skeleton lamp. Now, 17 ultra white LEDs are required. The color of the light will be to be determined by the PLA color chosen. Uh, experiment with different combinations to find the ideal one for you. This is by Regiza, and this is also on Prusa printers. Very cool looking. Now here's our second entry from Stephen Quinn over on the Prusa printer site. You know, although printing this hand can be difficult, the results uh, looks like a real hand. It really does look like a real hand. And it can stand on its fingers or by the wrist. It can be used to hold objects when standing on its wrist. Uh, it also has a candle holder on the other side if it's standing on its fingers. Now, supports are required while printing this model, and the designer also suggests using a raft. Here's a picture I want to show you. There it is. Like, that is cool. You can put a little gourd in there, and there it is on the side. This is one of the coolest looking things. It reminds me of Thing from uh, the the Adams family. I believe it's Thing in the Adams family. There you go. So download this one from the Prusa Printers website. Even your plants can contribute to the spooky atmosphere this year. To make the plants a part of your decor, 3D print a skull planter. 
They could even resemble brains if you uh, have the correct type of plant. Uh, make sure you use a water-resistant filament. A food-safe filament may also be a good idea so that the uh, damp dirt doesn't harm the plant uh, and the filament's plastic doesn't pollute the environment. Uh, the author suggests printing supports uh, in the eyes and nose when printing. This is by Clockspring, and it can be found over on my mini factory. Aside from the practical decor, certain additional designs can transform your home into a truly terrifying environment. Although you won't be able to print an entire home of fear, uh, there are plenty of ways to get into the Halloween spirit. Uh, I've got here selected the best decorations for your home, office, or wherever you choose to put them. You know, the head of Frankenstein's monster can be used in a variety of ways. It can be used to frighten youngsters, store candy, or pot a plant. You might also leave the brains in and try and bring it to life on a stormy night. Despite the fact that the model is closed on the bottom, the author recommends chopping it off in the slicer so that it stands up better. You'll need supports to print it accurately and catch all the nuances. This was created by Yeg 3D and can be found over on Thingiverse. Here's a cool entry from our friends over at Adafruit and can be found over on the Cults 3D website. Uh, this cauldron features some electronic components to make it more fascinating as it was developed by Adafruit. Uh, it makes use of a variety of colorful LED lights that are kept in a compartment at the bottom of the cauldron. Now, without risking damage to the electronics, you can insert sweets or a cool smoke effect like the one that you can see here shown in the picture. Uh, the wiring instructions are included in the model's description. Again, like I said, it's uh, created by Adafruit, and it is uh, over on the Cults 3D website. This, real look Three, two, one. this realistic looking grave, complete with a small jack-o'-lantern, may be printed without any supports. You'll need some glue to put it together, although. Uh, and you can also install LED lights inside the coffin to make it glow. It might be a wonderful addition to your garden. Uh, this was created by X3 RPM and is over on the Cults 3D website. And finally, we've saved the creepiest or the best for last. Uh, if you've stepped into a room with all the lights turned off and felt this on the wall or table, you'd probably be terrified. Um, there are four distinct hand designs to choose from. They look to be emerging from a surface when affixed to it. It could be exactly what you need to take your Halloween decorations to the next level. This was created by 463 and is over on Thinkiverse. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at some of the coolest uh, 3D prints for this Halloween season. You got a good couple of weeks to get things going and uh, you should have plenty of time to print off some of the cool stuff. I really dig those hands sticking out from the wall. Those are one of my favorites. And the uh, Frankenstein bowl that was kind of neat with the brain on top where you could take the brain out um, and leave it on the table it, there's some really cool and creepy stuff out there this year listen if you got something out of today's video please feel free to hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already ding the little bell so you get notified every time we do a brand new episode and uh, remember that we've got a contest going on right now a giveaway to give you a mystery box each two each and every month uh, till the end of the year. So make sure that you leave a like, leave a comment, and be a subscriber to get entered into the draw for our next giveaway of a mystery box in October. We're going to be giving away our second one on October 31st. Okay, so till I see you next time, my name's Richard. I hope uh, you're going to have fun this Halloween. Get out there, have go to parties. Do stuff for your kids. Do stuff for your grandkids. It doesn't matter. Do something for somebody else's kids. Print something that, that's just cool and neat and unique for the Halloween season. Until I see you next time, remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print. Bye for now.